Hi Floss Tube, it's Angie, and welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I am in my office, my husband in my office, and yeah, the kids are, well, they're supposed to be asleep. They're not asleep. They're supposed to be in their rooms. A couple of them keep trickling in and out, and I have to keep stopping to tell them to go to bed because that is typical. But anyway, I decided I'd film today in the office because it's late. Um, I participated in 24 hours of cross stitch, so it's it's later in the evening because I wanted to give myself a full amount of time each day to do it, and I'll talk more about that later. But I've got my pretties up behind me, and as I finish different projects, depending on their size and what they are, I will probably add some to this wall uh, some will be added to my wall upstairs. Uh, again, it just depends on how quickly I finish. Unfortunately, my eyes are bigger than the speed of my fingers, if that makes any sense, because I keep getting patterns thinking that, oh, that looks like a quick and easy stitch, and then they're not. They're never quick and easy. They're thousands of stitches big, and I just, I'm not good at finishing them quickly. Um, but I do have a finish that I will share with you. Um, this is my mismatched desk. So just real quick, <laughs> I also like to woodwork and do things like that. Uh, my, my goal is to eventually get myself to a point where I can build my own furniture to an extent. Like, anyway. But this was a project I've been putting off for forever. So this is my desk. I bought this in Germany. It was on one of those Craigslist in Germany. I think I bought it for 30 euro. And it all looked like this, this color. The whole thing, let me show it to you. The whole desk was that color. And you'll notice there are some drawer pulls that are missing. In fact, the one here in the middle comes out if you pull on it. Uh, so I've got four drawer, drawer pulls that are missing. But I decided, I'm gonna pick you up, that I was gonna redo this. Okay, sorry, I had to change the angle. So there's a giant crack in the back of this desk. You can see it right there. But unfortunately, no matter how much glue and clamping I use, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to do a fix, and I call it a bow tie fix. Anybody who knows woodworking is gonna kinda understand the concept, um, but that's not gonna happen for a while. So I sanded it down and I used a really pretty stain, and then the rest of it I painted a beautiful charcoal gray and these drawers are also going to be a charcoal gray but I have to fill in I'm taking all these handles off the drawer poles and I'm going to fill in the holes but you can't just fill in the holes because they're huge so I have to get dowel rods and cut them to size and then use wood filler and then sand it down and then I have these new holes that I'm going to put on them, but they're going to be the same color as the rest of the desk. So I'm going to have this charcoal desk with this beautiful rosy kind of cherry. It's like a mix for the top and it's going to be so pretty. Okay. So thank you. I just had to share that because I'm sure a lot of you are probably going to sit there and go, why is her desk so mismatched? It's mismatched because it's a work in progress. Hopefully this week I'm gonna start working on the drawers and that'll be so much better. I had the whole desk taken apart and it was sitting out on my deck. Um, and I, I got it done in an, in an afternoon, evening, which was great. But now all I have to do is the desk will stay in here and I can just take the drawers out, which is gonna be so nice. And then my mom, I just have to show off all this stuff because it's fun. My mom sent me a housewarming gift. <gasps> Don't you just love it? Jack and Sally, and of course the lights go on and off, but yeah. So I've got this, and apparently it comes in a set of three, so two more are coming, and they're spaced out over a year, I think. I'm not sure, so. Either that or she was able to specify when they'll come, so. So the other ones, there's one with Oogie Boogie. And Oogie Boogie is, 
<laughs> I probably love the Oogie Boogie song the most out of all of the Nightmare Before Christmas songs because it's so jazzy and so evil and it's e it's just you want to dance to it. <laughs> and then the other one has the three kids in the tub. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm excited. I don't know where they'll all where they're all going to go, but they'll be somewhere in this house and I can guarantee I'm going to show them off to you when I get them. All right, so that's enough about everything not cross stitch. Let's go ahead and start. I participated in 24 hours of cross stitch. I did about, I think I was two minutes away from 18 hours. I spread it out. I was team sleep, but mainly because we're still trying to organize and unpack. This house is a little funky, and so we're having to figure out where things go. And that takes a lot of time and effort. <sighs> my daughter's walking up the stairs. Uh, so it's, it's, and my husband really wants to help this time because he wasn't able to help very much the last time. And so between his teleworking and, you know, me doing whatever, it's just taking a little bit. Well, and we're, we're taking our time, trying to make sure it all gets done nicely the way we want it. So, um, so we were doing a bunch of that. We were getting things hung up, like, uh, pictures and things hung up all over the house this week. So we were doing a lot of that. So I was team sleep and I spread it out between Friday night to tonight, Sunday. Um, we don't have blinds on our window, so every time something goes by our window, it draws my attention. That's the next thing that we have to do is get blinds, because we got into this house and not a single set of windows. No, that's a lie. There's two sets of French doors that have the blinds inside the windows, which is great. And there was our kitchen window has a set of blinds. And then my daughter's window had a set of blinds that don't work. And my bathroom has a set of blinds that don't work. You can't raise them, they just stay down. So, yeah. So that was our first big purchase, was buying everybody curtains because our rooms face the street and all the other houses. <laughs> but we need to get blinds in these windows. So that's one of our next big things, besides a lawnmower for our half acre lot <laughs> that we don't have yet. Okay, anyway. So I spread it out over three days and uh, I had wanted to stitch almost all day Saturday, but the house, you know, I'm, I'm gonna work on the house and so I did. And I wanted to stitch a good portion of today, which I did because on Friday I did nine hours and then I, I can't remember where I got to. I think by last night I was at 14 and then I got to the 18 mark today. And then by the time I hit that, I kinda just was in the, my eyes were burning I was struggling with being able to count everything without having to blink and lose my place. And at that point I just said, you know what, I I'm gonna call it. And then next time we'll see. Last, last time in April when I did this, I think I only managed like eight hours. So this is an improvement. Um, let me tell you my stats really quick. I counted them up. I, I ended up getting all my homework done for the week and two of my extra credit. I'm really pushing it. School of Magical Stitches extra credit is finished on the 31st. I'm really pushing it. I haven't started my reading for extra credit. I haven't started my stitching. So that's what I'm doing this week. And we had a pop-up event, which means something comes up where they say stitch as much as you can for this. And there's usually something special to do with it. And unfortunately I had already done a ton of stitches and I wasn't able to count them because there was a special thing that you had to be able to do in order for your stitches to count. And I wasn't able to do it because I didn't see it before I started stitching. Anyway, but um, I got all of my main homework done. I got two of my prompts for extra credit done, which is fantastic. And I stitched, get this, okay. I average about a thousand a week when I'm working homework. Sometimes I do more if I'm just in a stitchy mood. But in the last three days, in the last 18 hours, I stitched 4,012 stitches. <laughs> that is a lot. I am completely finished with one. I will show it to you. I am 84% done with another, and I'm probably, I'm almost halfway with a third. So my goal for uh, 24 hours of cross stitch was to work well, the original plan was I was going to spend four hours each Christmas gift. 
on the Christmas gifts that I worked on during Mania. And I was gonna do four hours on each and then just stitch whatever. That went out the window like right at the beginning because I wanted to finish this and I did. And it's wrinkly because I just, it, I washed it and it's air dried and I haven't ironed it yet because I wanted to make sure my uh, Mark Be Gone pen came out of the fabric before I did anything with heat. But Stranger Things is done, y'all. Stranger Things is done. Look at that. I mean, oh, sorry, you can't really see Will's head because he's right there in a wrinkle. So he is, this is fully finished. There is nothing left except to stitch like my name somewhere. I'll probably stitch it somewhere along here. Try to make it look like it's part of the, the ground. Um, and then I have this fantastically fun idea for how to fully finish it. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because that will, it will be more fun when you see it and hopefully that will be next week. So one more, one more because I'm sorry, you know me. Geek flag flying, loving it, loving it. <laughs> I think this is so, so fun. So Stranger Things is done. I was showing it to my in-laws when they called today and they've never seen Stranger Things. So it was completely lost on them. So they're they're trying to tell me, oh, that's so nice and awesome. And at the same time, they're like, what the heck is that? And then when I showed them how I was finishing it, they still didn't understand. It loses this something if you don't know the show. I told them they have to watch it, it's really good. Okay, so then when I finished that, um, because I had been stitching this all week, trying to get a finish. And so when I started my 24 hours, I just figured I was close enough. I had gotten to the point where this arm was outlined and I just had to stitch this leg and this arm and then come over here to Will. And I'm not kidding, that was like 2,000 of my 4,000 stitches was, okay, maybe not 2,000. I think it was more like 999, I don't know. But a good chunk of my stitches came from this because these are deceptively small stitches. But anyway, um, and so then I finished him and then I said, okay, now let's move on to Christmas present number one, which is Star Trek Spock. So he is off his Q-snap and this is where I'm at. Let me back up because he is getting huge. And look at that. How awesome does that, I have one more ship up here in the corner and then I have one more big thingy right here. It's basically a giant version of this. And then I have a gazillion more of these little star thingies. Thingies. <laughs> when I don't know the name for a word, it's a thingy, thingamabob, uh, what's a whatchamacallit, whatever. So I've got a few more of the stars and then the lines that connect all the stars to make it look like a circuit board. And then this puppy is done. So 84% done and I'm so excited because I knew I would finish it. I mean, I knew that I'd finish it before December. But again, when I bought the pattern, it looks deceptively easy. You look at that and you say, oh, well, those are tiny little motifs, you know? This took forever. That's just so many stitches right there. But then each of these, takes a good hour, if not more, because it's it's a couple hundred stitches each. This one not, but I mean, this one, this is all full coverage. That's not fabric, that's uh, light colored stitching. So these are, it's, it's deceptively large and I still have some back stitching to do. Uh, the back stitching isn't too bad. I think the only thing I think each of the ships has a little bit of back stitching in them. And then the, the lines, the circuit board lines. And then I just have to figure out how to make it into a, a pillow. But then I'm not sure if I'm gonna pillow it because my mom has a dog that likes to chew things. She's a good dog, but she likes to chew things. So I'm thinking I might just frame this one instead of making it a pillow. And that way she can hang it up somewhere. Honestly, I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't give this one to my in-laws because they saw it today and were very impressed with how it looked. And I don't know if my mom's gonna be all of that because I don't know how often, I just know she liked Star Trek when she, I'm just, yeah. 
You ever feel that way? Like you plan a present and you're like, mm, maybe I'm more into it than they are. I don't know. Okay, so after that, I worked on Harry Potter pillow and I'm gonna take it out of its Q snap. So bear with me. I should have done this beforehand, but deciding to film tonight was a little bit last minute because you'll notice this video is a couple days late. I've never set a specific day within which I will post a video, but it's usually a Friday or a Saturday. There goes the Q-snap. Um, obviously it's Sunday and there's no video yet, so I think I'm gonna, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. So I apologize for the wrinkles. Let me move my needle minder out of the way. I don't have a Harry Potter needle minder, so you'll have to deal with Spider-Man. This is where I'm at with Harry Potter pillow. And right now I am making the decision because this border goes all the way over, all the way, well, and there's a whole bunch of stuff right here. So the border comes clear out to here, all the way down, over and up. And I'm trying to decide if I'm just gonna do the leaves in the corners and leave the rest of that alone because that's just gonna add so much time. I've got time. It's August. I've got time. I can do it. Most of the little things I stitch up pretty easy. The flags take forever. The leaves don't take that long. It's just you have to pay attention. Um, I've almost got my spell done. We've got, I've got to outline him because he's white on white and that's hard to see. The owl is white on white too and I outlined him a little bit but you can't really tell, so I'm gonna to try to do that with the Patronus. And then almost all the Hallows are done with the, it's not Krennic, it's the DMC version of, of Krennic. And to be quite honest, it is finicky. I don't hate stitching with it, I really don't. And that is an unpopular opinion. But that is my unpopular opinion. I don't hate it. Sometimes I curse it a little bit. I mean, do I wish it was as, easy to stitch with is every all the other threads sure but my other threads I have issues with too so not as many but I don't hate Krennic so when I see that that I need to stitch the shiny things I'm okay with it and this has a lot I mean this is shiny most of the outline of this is shiny all of these are Krennic there's Krennic here this is all Krennic this was all I don't mind it so much so anyway that's Harry Potter pillow sampler. I made a solid dent. I think I'm close to 40%. No, maybe it's like 38, which is, I mean, that's close to, to 40, but I'm getting there. So if I, if I stitch a couple hundred stitches every week on this, I'll be done in plenty of time. My husband's one, I went to go stitch on that. I was gonna work on that this weekend, but the stinker, wanted to like hang out with me while I stitched and watch movies. And so I couldn't pull it out. And I can't get mad at him because I like hanging out with my husband and watching movies. So we, we ended up, we watched all the Twilight movies and we laughed and <laughs> it was, I, I had mentioned last video that we like to do that every now and then. And so we totally did. <laughs> We watched them and we laughed and we discussed how we would make them better or different or how even just the people in the movie could have done something different, something. They get better as they go though. I'm gonna say that Breaking Dawn is not as cringy as, well, okay, except the baby, but it's not as cringy as Twilight. It, but anyway, but then as I, as I had stitched his that on that piece, I was doing it on this 22 count hardanger, and then I got to one of the motifs in it and I saw the back stitching and realized I cannot do the back stitching on it because it's too detailed for the small fabric. So now I'm contemplating whether or not I change up again and choose a simpler pattern for him or buy a bigger count fabric and start over. And it's not so bad. I think I've only done a thousand stitches in that. So it's not the end of the world if I start over. It's just a lot of the motifs are gonna lose some, it's not gonna look as awesome 
because there won't be the back stitching in it because I, I mean, there are some parts of it that have words on one of the motifs, but it's so small, you wouldn't even be able to see the words, not, let alone me be able to stitch the words in there. I didn't pay attention to that when I chose the fabric. So, I mean, that's all on me, of course. So I'm, I'm trying to decide, I'm trying to decide if, if it needs the back stitching or if I can, if I can get away with it. The rest of it is fine. It's just on a couple of the things it might not look as awesome as it could. I don't know. Um, and then the last thing I worked on, I, I was done. I said, okay, I, I've got to work on something I want to work on. So I pulled out my Nightmare Before Christmas stained glass and I put a whopping 120 stitches in it because my eyes were burning. And this again is a 22 count, so it's tiny. And I was squinting and I was counting. I was trying to add more marking pen to it. I don't even have all the threads for this yet. I kitted, I've been working on this and I've been stitching with just the, the 310. And then I decided, okay, I need to make the floss cards for this. And I'm missing like 20 colors. So half of what is in here, I can't even stitch because I don't have the colors for it because I just haven't bought them yet. So I added a whole 120 stitches on this. So, ooh, fantastic. It's gonna look cool. It really is. It's extremely confetti heavy. So that 126 stitches, I'm not kidding, took me two hours to do. Yeah. So this is probably gonna be a slow burn one. It's not one that I'm going to push to try to get done right away. But yeah, that is, that is all I've done. I mean, that, that's all I've done. I've only done 4,000 stitches. No, that's a lot, but it's a, a lot of stuff that you've already seen before. I'm just giving you a quick update on it. Um, what's next? What's next? What's next? I have until what is it, the end of the week, to do my homework, my extra credit, which the extra credit won't be hard. I plan to try and work on cleaning out and organizing our shed at some point this week, which will require a book or two or three, which I have all ready to go on my audio, audio books so I can listen to those. And, and then I don't really have any plans to buy anything I keep, I keep seeing all of these members of Virtual Stitchers talking about new stitch alongs and it's a little overwhelming at this point because I've, I'm, I'm doing the Dark Queen of the Seas, which I actually got a commenter who said that she's going to start it too. So that's exciting. I'm, I'm yay. <laughs> hey, it's more the more the merrier, right? And then I have the um, Garden Prelude Sal and then um, the Mayflower cells. There's three of them coming up, and I do have the stuff for those already. Well, I've purchased the Dark Queen of the Seas. I don't have the stuff for that one yet. I did buy some fabric for my Raven Queen, but um, it's a specialty fabric, so that stuff's not gonna get here probably till September. I'm not even gonna hold my breath that it's gonna come anytime soon. Um, I did get my fabric for Pandemic, but it's nothing special, it's just ivory, not ivory, it's antique white Ada. It's kind of a buttery color. Uh, and that's when I'm gonna do Pandemic on with the different colors. So again, that one's gonna be a slow burn too, probably. Unless I get too impatient and I just start making up prompts and saying, oh, that prompt in my head said I needed to stitch 200 in blue. <laughs> yeah. Um, I need to get fabric for my Garden Prelude and um, Princess Eliana. Uh, apparently there's a Sal later on this year to start stitching her too. I, I just briefly heard that on someone's thing. I don't know if it's a virtual stitchers thing or something else, but if there is, but at the same time, then I'm thinking to myself, okay, that's four, four Sal's, two of them are Mira's. And <laughs> that's a lot of stitch along. And I'm still going back and forth because last week I was thinking, yay, I've got all these, these things I can start. And then this week I was thinking, I, I don't know if I want to have a ton of, I, I still, I mean, 
I've got Stranger Things finished, and when I count out how many projects I have, I think that means I now have seven, seven in progress. Because I have, I have my Northern Nights, which I don't always count because I haven't worked on that in forever. I have Middle Earth, Star Trek, um, Harry Potter Pillow, Giant Harry Potter, Havan, Stargazer, so there's seven, and then Nightmare Before Christmas, there's eight. So, well, and then it, my husband's, which would be nine, but again, I don't normally count Northern Nights because I have no intention on working on that for a while. So that would be, what, eight whips? And then we're gonna have the four cells, so that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's a lot of work in progress. I mean, that would keep me busy for an entire year, I'm sure, because it would. Um, I haven't been inspired to buy any new patterns, not for the lack of Facebook friends trying as they show all their fun new things off, but I think I have plenty of patterns. I just need to get starting, get starting them, but oof. It's hard because I want to jump in and join all of the things, but my bank, well, I mean, I'm sure my bank account could handle buying all the stuff if I spread it out. I just don't, don't like, <laughs> we just bought a whole furniture set. I have no idea when it's going to get here because apparently even co even furniture is impossible to get during COVID. It's, mm, it said it'll have four to, four to six weeks for delivery and then now that was two weeks ago and I still haven't heard anything. I don't have any updates, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Um, I'm just rambling now. So yeah, we'll see. So my plans this week are to just kind of work willy nilly. I'll, I'll see if I can put at least 200 stitches in pillow, the Harry Potter pillow. I want to pull out my Middle Earth and get some work done on Middle Earth though because I've been missing it. And I bought a roller frame, a giant one, and it still isn't big enough for Middle Earth. And when I tried to put it on there just to see how it worked, I couldn't even get the thing to roll up nice and smooth because I probably need to iron it before I can attach it. That one may end up staying in a Q-snap and I'll use the roller frame for when I start the Disney or the um, Epic storybook princess because I'm gonna I'm gonna oh that's another thing um I'm gonna try adding some darker gray to that confederate gray blue fabric and see if I can make it darker and use that for the storybook princess because that I mean that fabric was intentionally bought for that pattern so I think I'm gonna do that and then I'm debating on whether or not I'm gonna take that white chocolate that goes to my Roses of Provence pattern. And there was a really pretty one on Picture This Plus, and it was kind of like light pinks and blues and yellows and greens. So it kind of looked summery and fun, like muted flowers in the background that I think that would look really pretty on. So I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna to try to dye that fabric myself. Since I already have it, What's the point in ordering new fabric for it? Why not just try it myself? And if I don't like it, then then I'll mix all the colors and make it black, <laughs> right? Somebody, I, I'm I'm sure it'll be fine. So anyway, that is that's that's it. I don't really have anything else going on. Our school district, all of our kids are registered for school. Um, we were going to start virtual school. Uh, we decided to opt out of doing that our school district was offering two in school days or four virtual days. And originally we thought in school, but then we changed our minds and said, we're gonna do virtual. And then they pushed back our opening date to September by two weeks. And then they said, yeah, just kidding. Now we're, we're just, everybody's doing virtual uh, because the numbers here are just, the numbers here, I guess are starting to stabilize is what he made it sound like, but that Many of the teachers are in areas where the numbers are still climbing and they didn't want to risk the teachers bringing something from their cities or their count counties or whatever. And so we're all starting virtual. Um, my husband probably won't make it back into like physical working in the office until 
who knows when they're doing telework because there's no rush. He can do it all from home. But I tell you, it's difficult starting a new job this way. Instead of being able to go in and meet your coworkers and kind of get a rundown and a lay of the land and see all this stuff, he has to do it all online. That's definitely, that is fun. I'm glad I'm not the one doing that. <laughs> um, I've only met one neighbor because of this. That's kind of sad. Um, but I'm gonna break out my bike, hopefully tomorrow or the next day and start riding around. There's so many bike trails around here. So I am excited to get riding my bike and that I can definitely do without the risk of COVID. <laughs> so that's all I have for you this week. Um, I will hopefully have some more fun stitchy things. I'm, I feel like, I feel like these have got to be kind of boring because I'm just showing the same projects over and over with a, an okay amount of progress on them. Um, I'm not sure what else to do in the video to make it more exciting and fun for you guys. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, we had some awesome rain this week. I'll put in some footage. We have a beautiful backyard. The backyard is the main thing that sold me on this house. And there's an area that kind of where the stuff dips down. And when the landlord was walking us through, he said, oh, and when it rains, this kind of becomes a little uh, little river or a creek-like thing. And I was like, oh, the drainage comes down here and kind of trickles out of the yard. Okay, yeah, no, it's not a trickle. It's not a trickle. It is awesome. It's like a river. It's fantastic. <laughs> Um, so I've got kind of a before and after I'll, I'll add him here at the end of what it's supposed to look like on a normal day and what it looks like when it's raining because it's awesome and that's my yard I can just imagine I mean I almost wish it was a real river just so we could like go fishing in our backyard but that's okay I'm okay with it not being a real river all the time okay so I'm gonna stop talking I'm done for the week and I will see you again next week. Um, I'm trying to decide when the better time. Try to post by Friday or Saturday or bring it in in the beginning of the week. I don't know yet. I guess I'll just film when I can. I'd be a terrible as one of those lifestyle YouTubers because I, I mean, like I thought about filming myself doing this and then I finished it and realized I'd forgotten to film. And that would just be it. I'd be like, oh, come shop with me, but I forgot my camera, so let me tell you about it. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, I am done. The kids are emerging from their room. I knew they would. And I will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.